Hi everyone, welcome, welcome, welcome back to Perfectly Imperfect Gardening. Here with me, Tanya, and right now we are working on our gnome oasis. On the, coming in the yard to be the right side of my yard. So now I'm doing a gnome village part of it, and I'm trying to get some homes and different things made up for them. I'm trying to save as much money as possible while doing this project. So far, I was able to use a dog house. I was able to use a bird house that I have. I'm gonna use some tires. My husband found me some stumps and some decorative stump pieces that I could put on my um, crafts. So y'all stay tuned so that y'all can be able to see all the things that I'll be doing with this crafts, with this known village, so I, you can see it come to life like my imagination coming right out of my head onto the screen. <sighs> I can't wait. <laughs> so let's get going. Um, picture of the doghouse when I bought it for Amazon. I bought it like a year or so ago when I bought the chickens, cause I was gonna be a, it was gonna be an extra place for the chickens, but I didn't have no room for it inside of the enclosure that I purchased for it. So it just been sitting there. So I decided to use it as one of the gnome houses. I'm using it and making it into a, a tree house. First, I'm gonna show you it without anything on it. Then I'm gonna show you it with the first layer of paint. I did the first layer of paint. Then I'm gonna show you where I am at now. Cause I just put the stump on it and it's drying. So let's get these first couple clips out the way and then we'll catch up. This is the waterproof plastic dog house that I had purchased for Amazon about a year ago. September 3rd would be a year to be exact. I'm just including it so you can see where I started from. Now this is the clip after the first coat of paint, but I ended up using like three coats. Since I am doing a village, my goal is to make it economical. I want it to be just like the real world. I don't want everything to be the same because a boring world is like my worst nightmare. Imagine everything being the same. Same houses, same job, same thing everybody likes. Everything looks the same. Oh, that would be so horrible. But my goal is to make sure I have some of everything. Just like the real world, as I said. Mansions. They have mansions. They have middle class homes. They have tiny homes. They have people that even just like to live outside in their vans. So I want to have all those communities inside of my village so this is one of them the tree house y'all seen the hut house and whatever else i put in it so i'm gonna get the rest of this stuff done so i could get this village done it's taking a while because it's so hot and when it's not hot it's raining i cannot catch a break y'all so I'm glad I'm able to do certain things inside the house or I will be really, really behind. Y'all, I just showed you guys the clip of me painting this when I put the first coating on. Let me show you what I did so far since then. Y'all, I have this dog house turned on its side because I put this log on here. It's like a decorative piece so that it can look more like a tree house because they're going to be sitting on top of a stump and I'm going to show you guys. Y'all going to see all that. But so far I have this stuck on and put another one of these on this side. I had to go find it. And I'm going to have something special in here so when they look inside of there, remember it's laying sideways y'all. When you look inside of there, you're going to be able to see something fun. So I have all this done so far around here and the back. And on the other side, I started a little window, but you can't see that right now. And I have to do the roof. Let me show you the roof. 
hopefully I don't bump it or anything until it dries. Hopefully that works. But I want it to look like a stump coming out of the tree house. Getting there, y'all. I'm getting there. Okay, this is the side that I put the little window on. As y'all can see, I put some artificial flowers. I'm fixing to paint this green so it can look like grass. I try to put a little window sill here to go with the little window I tried to make on the side. And I started putting the moss up top. So now, let me get this painted green, get the rest of the moss around the house. So this is how this looks so far. I will be adding more things to this. This is just the beginning. tell you what's going on okay this tree stump the tree stump right here I had put on here I stuck it on here with glue as you seen but I wanted to reinforce it so that so I put a screw in it I had my husband put a screw in it and here he bolted it in right there and then we put some of that foam stuff so there won't be no gaps. I'm going to take a Zacto knife and cut all that off. And I put tape behind it to make sure it don't get on here. I have to finish this side. I started putting the um, moss on here. The moss on there. And I showed you guys the flowers I put on here. So I have to finish decorating that. That's not how it's going to be, guys. Don't think that's how it's going to be. Uh, that's just the flower part. But I want to show you guys right quick what I just found for my front yard. The perfect thing for my front yard. I'm so excited to take you guys out there right now to show you. Come on. Come on. Let's go. <laughs> the perfect thing for my front yard. I can't wait to show you. Yes. Can't. I am so happy. I found it let me get out the door y'all don't think i'm gonna be able to get done with that um dog house this video because i have to wait on some more decorations that's coming for it especially the inside stuff that i'm put inside of the dog house um so i'm just gonna pause on that right now but i'm gonna show you guys what i found i found the perfect thing for my front yard let me show y'all y'all me and c brown was in out of Marshalls we just decided to go to Marshalls and out of nowhere as soon as I walked in the door I was like oh my god this is the perfect thing for my front yard so y'all I'm gonna show it to you y'all don't judge it really yet because I have to put the flowers and everything in it and make it to what my vision is and everything so oh my god this over oh all that raining y'all look at that 
I can't even walk through here. Wow, like a jungle. <laughs> like a jungle. So I'm gonna have to stop and get this. No, I ain't gonna stop and get this done. I'm gonna go ahead and show y'all. And then I'll fix this later. Let's get through the jungle. So I can show you. If y'all believe it or not, these are lemons. They are Ponderosa lemons. Right here, they get huge, huge, huge. And it always something growing on this, this tree. Okay, now y'all check this out. I'm gonna give y'all a close up of the bike and everything. And I want y'all to go in the comments. I want y'all to tell me how much you think I paid for this bike. I'm gonna give you a side comparison to me, I am 5'10", 210 pounds the last time I weighed. And I have lost some more weight since then. So I'm about 200 pounds or so. So I'm going to give y'all the comparisons of the size of the bike from me. And also, um, yeah, I'll show y'all at the end the price. And that y'all can see. Who came the closest? I wonder how much y'all think I paid for it. Curiosity. Please don't let it kill the cat. Please satisfy my urge because I want to know how much y'all think this bike was bought for. So let's switch the camera around and get to it. Ta-da! Y'all look what I found for my front yard. Isn't that so cute? I'm going to put it right here. Thinking about making this sort of like a Cinderella type thing. Make this like um, the part that the Cinderella sit in to get took into the ball. And this to be what take her to the ball. <laughs> so I might end up putting it right here. I know I got a lot of wheat to do up in there, but hold on one second. Okay, guys, I'm gonna give y'all a look at how big guys, it is. This is me. All 200 and whatever pounds worth of me. Okay, now let's see how big the bike. I'm gonna walk on this side so y'all can see them. It's the seat part and it's the wagon where she probably be riding to the ball in and her chauffeur would be riding in this area right here. But what y'all think from the sides and I'm going to put flowers in all the baskets and everything. So. Let's show y'all how it looks close up. As y'all seen, it definitely can hold over 200 pounds. And it has a kickstand down here that weighs it down. It has a white and old rustic look to it, done on purpose. I think that make gives it a little something, something extra. I like that. The baskets are nice size. How much, y'all? Uh, the price is right. Who is the next contestant to spin that wheel? Who would it be? And this is it from the back end, y'all. What is your guess? Your final answer. Put it in the comments. I can show you the brand without showing you the price. This is the brand right here.
So make them guesses. You know what, actually, that'd be for the chauffeur, the driver. That'd be for the security to sit. And then Cinderella or the princess would be in the wagon area right here, which would be this. So the princess sitting here and the wagon would be, which would be that, would be here to carry it along. That's the way I want it to look. Hopefully I can get that look out of this. It's not a fry, a fry, a far, a far cry from it. I think I could see it. Y'all use your imaginations to see if you can see it. I'm thinking about Cinderella. My version of it. The butterflies do love this um, bush. They love it. <laughs> they lay their eggs up on it. And caterpillars hatch. They eat the leaves. It's poisonous to a lot of the other creatures, to most creatures and things. Even if they eat the caterpillar once it start eating this, they become poisonous. Dutch pipe, fine. See, it been raining so much. The weeds are coming from the other side over here until they cut this they cut they lawn and weed eat over here is good it just coming from the fence so I might end up having to still put something back there my husband took up all of the grass because he said he don't want to have to come through here with the weed eater, but we gonna he gonna still have to come and do something with that, regardless. Mm -hmm. Okay, y'all, it's that time. Let's see how much my beautiful bike flower stand is worth. Well, how much I paid for it. Three ninety-nine ninety-nine. Four hundred dollars plus tax. So if you guessed four hundred dollars, ding ding ding, you made it down. Ha ha ha, you had the price right. Let me show you guys. Here it goes. Three ninety-nine ninety-nine. The price got a little messed up. But that's what it is at Marshall. Thank you all. Thank you so much. Make sure y'all hit that like, subscribe, and that bell button. So, so I'm going to see you later.